adding detail components. We can go in and put in various components that are already uh, created and we have to typically will add add those uh, load them from our families um, but we can go up to our detail under annotate we can go to detail we can go to component we go to detail component you see we get a break line but we get we don't get a whole lot of things in here um, we get a few things some rough cut lumber but I got a wide flange section and I, I like a wide flange section but um, you know it might not be the right size that I need so let's go and load a family so we'll go and load a family brings us to the US Imperial and we want to go to detail items in the detail items I can go to metals and then in here I can go to structural steel framing and then I can come down here and I can go with a uh, let's go down here with a wide flange shape the section view I'll say open and that's kinda what we had before but it wasn't the size I wanted if I scroll down I want to go down to an 8 inch I-beam so oh, a W stands for the wide flange next item is 8 is for an 8 inch I-beam or we can go with a 10 inch I-beam I want to go with a 40 pounds per foot so the last number is pounds per foot I select it I say OK and now it's loaded in it's the end of my I-beam I can come it's at the end of my cursor so I can come in here and place where I want it to be so I place it and now I have a component in my um, detail now I can draw an encasement around it you know I can draw uh, four sides to it of you know wood or or you know concrete or probably wouldn't want to gypsum board drywall on the outside but uh, we can start drawing lines with our detail lines now to complete our detail so we have many different items that we can go in if we go to our components and go to detail component we can add them in from our uh, load them in our family tool and we can start building any detail because we already have many things pre-drawn